Hi, welcome to St. Vincent College. I'm David, and this is Allison, and today we'll be taking you on a beautiful campus tour of our college in the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania. Just through these doors, you'll find yourself in the St. Vincent Admissions Welcome Center. This is where you'll start your journey and your St. Vincent experience. Here, you'll meet with your admissions counselor. You can take a tour, you can meet with a coach, a faculty member, or observe a classroom. So this is St. Benedict Hall. This is the freshman residence hall. On my right, we have the common area. So in the common area, that's where we usually watch Big Time Rush. We binge watch Grey's Anatomy. It's a massive TV there. And then on my left, we have more seating. Um, tutors are usually here. They come to St. Benedict Hall. So if you don't want to go across campus for tutoring, it's offered right here. You can come down in your pajamas. Top left, we have our computer, st uh, computer center. So in our computer center, there's loads of computers, and that's where the printing station is located. And then in the top right, we have our kitchen. So if you need pots and pans, you want to bake something, you can always go in there. But I'm more of a microwave guy, so I like to microwave ramen noodles and mac and cheese. Welcome to Pod Life. This is what every pod in St. Benedict Hall looks like, set up in a capital H style with the bedrooms on the outside in a big common area and two bathrooms that you share with just the people in this pod. The pods are separated by gender, whereas the floors could be co-ed, and each pod has a prefect, which is here is what we call our residence assistants. Every year, each prefect chooses to decorate their pod a certain way. For example, this pod is decorated Harry Potter themed. The pod style living here in St. Benedict is a great way for freshmen to meet new people when coming on campus. Personally, I have met my best friend here in St. Benedict Hall as we were roommates freshman year and still are right now. This is what a typical room in St. Benedict Hall looks like. For every resident student, there is a desk, a dresser, a wardrobe, and a bed. In this example room, these beds are bunked, whereas in a regular room, they don't have to be. Each room is also included a big window and Wi-Fi and temperature control in your own room. This is our science pavilion on campus. This building houses any STEM major, including mathematics, computer science, data science, chemistry, biology, engineering, nursing, and anything in the STEM realm. This is the atrium of our science pavilion. This building houses many cool features, such as our lecture hall, planetarium, digital imaging lab, and human anatomy lab. It's also another great study space for students on campus. This is what a typical classroom in our science pavilion looks like. It is one of our larger classrooms on campus. Our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one, and personally, I have never had a class size bigger than 20. This is an example of one of our larger labs on campus. This one in particular is used for organic chemistry. This is our digital imaging lab here in the Science Pavilion. Typically, it's used by biology majors, which is one of our most popular majors on campus. The technology in this room is usually not found until the graduate level. So this is the Dale Latimer Library. On the left is the barista, so it's there for a quick grab-and-go option. I like the caramel frozzuccinos the most. And then behind me is the first floor of the library where students used to study. But my personal favorite are the group study rooms that are used for collaborative learning. In our newly constructed library, it houses the St. Vincent Art Gallery. It's a different change of scenery, so there's more study rooms up here, there's booths, there's chairs to get comfortable studying, and then we also have a rare book collection that will date back to the 15th century. Connected to our library is Prep Hall, which houses our communication department on campus. In this hallway, there are many classrooms, some set up in a theater style. Also in Prep Hall is our computer lab which is used by any student majoring in communications and digital arts and media, including videography, photography, graphic design, and more. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome to the Robert S. Carey Student Center. In this building, we house everything from our gymnasium, performing arts center, student fitness center, Carey Lounge, bookstore, the shack, which is one of our secondary dining options on campus, the wellness center, and our student chapel. So this is the student lounge in the Carey Center. It's one of the main student hubs on campus and the activities programming board actually use it for a lot of events. They have giveaways, they have emotional support animals, club fairs, and anything of that nature usually happens here in the Carey Center. Welcome to our bookstore. In here, you can purchase anything from St. Vincent merch, textbooks, snacks, greeting cards, medication, and anything else you may need. It's a one-stop shop. So behind me is the shack. It's a, one of our dining areas here on campus. It's a quick grab-and-go option. They have burgers, fries, hot dogs. Two of my roommates actually work in there, so it's always a great time. And a nice little hangout spot with all the seating. This is our student fitness center here in the Cary. It's open pretty much all day, seven days a week. A cool fact is when the Pittsburgh Steelers come to Latrobe for training camp, they also use our facilities. So this is Alfred Hall. This is where the bulk of your classes will be. And to put it into perspective, the Admissions Welcome Center is right below us on the ground floor. So this is what a typical classroom would look like in Alfred Hall. Um, I've had classes in Alfred Hall and I've personally never had a class more than 20 students. Welcome to the Citrone Family Commuter Center. This is a nice place to go on campus. Um, I'm personally a commuter and there's a commuter club that's only offered to commuters. So you can come in here in between classes to study, you can make friends and relax. So in our newly renovated cafeteria, we have a variety of options. We have fresh desserts every day. We have our salad bar, yogurt, fruit. We have a fryer which contains grilled cheese, chicken sandwiches, hot dogs. To the right of that, we have our daily dish. That changes every day. That's where you'll get your chicken, you'll get beef, you get mac and cheese. To the right of that, it's a bravissimo, which is made to order. Then we have our sandwich bar. So if you want a ham and cheese, it's a quick, nice little option that you can grab. And then we also have brick oven pizza, which is a personal favorite. I could eat it every day of the week. Behind me is our Fred Rogers exhibit, located in our Fred Rogers Center, which is at the entrance of our campus. In this building, you'll find everything from the Fred Rogers Archives to the Fred Rogers Institute, our McCarl Coverlet Gallery, and hosted events and conferences. Here, the admissions office hosts our large campus events, such as our Get Acquainted Days and our Accepted Student Days. The final stop on our tour is the heart and soul of our campus, the St. Vincent Basilica. While we pride ourselves in our Catholic, Benedictine, and liberal arts traditions, we welcome any and all students on campus of all faiths or no faith. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you soon.